23 more people in Korea were diagnosed with MERS overnight, bringing the total number of confirmed MERS cases to 87. More than 2,000 people are under self-quarantine amid the outbreak, and the government may use cell phone technology to confirm their whereabouts. And South Korea and Russia mark the 25th anniversary of their ties with an event in the Russian city of St. Petersburg. Hello and welcome to News Today on KBS World. It's Monday, June 8th. I'm Luke Clary. Twenty-three more people in Korea were diagnosed with MERS overnight, bringing the total number of confirmed MERS cases to 87. Here's more on the spread of this viral disease. The health ministry's central headquarters for fighting MERS have announced that 23 more people have been diagnosed with MERS. Now the total number of confirmed MERS cases in Korea has reached 87, the second largest in the world after Saudi Arabia. Of those, 17 patients were infected after direct contact with the 14th patient at the Samsung Medical Center. The remaining six were infected by the 16th patient, who contracted the disease from the initial patient at Pyeongtaek St. Mary's Hospital and later visited a hospital in Daejeon. One of the patients has been found to have received treatment at the Gyeonggi University Hospital at Gangdong and the Konguk University Medical Center without health authority supervision. The hospitals were forced to close their emergency rooms and conduct emergency disinfection procedures. More medical workers and people who visited the hospitals are likely to have come into close contact with the patient. Health authorities say the first epidemic stemming from multiple infections caused by the initial patient at Pyeongtaek St. Mary's Hospital has abated. They also added that tertiary infections such as those at the Samsung Medical Center will likely subside after this week given the incubation period of MERS. More than 2,000 people are under self-quarantine amid the outbreak of MERS. The government says it will strengthen its management of those quarantined and use cell phone positioning technology to confirm their whereabouts. A woman in her 70s stayed in the same ward as the nation's first MERS patient at Pyeongtaek St. Mary's Hospital. Upon her discharge from the hospital, she was instructed to quarantine herself at her son's house due to the chance that she may have been infected with the disease. But she returned to her home in Suncheong, North Chala province, and was active outdoors for nearly 15 days. Ultimately, she was confirmed to have been infected with the virus, and her entire village was placed under quarantine. <laughs> A woman in her 50s who lives in Seoul's Gangnam district was supposed to quarantine herself at her home, but she generated controversy by going to a golf course in North Chala province. The government has decided to strengthen monitoring of those subject to self-quarantine to prevent them from acting carelessly. Their whereabouts will be determined by tracking their mobile phones. One official from the relevant community health care center or local government will be exclusively responsible for each of those subject to quarantine. If patients refuse to voluntarily quarantine themselves, they will be forced into medical facilities in accordance with laws on the prevention of infectious diseases. To mark the 25th anniversary of diplomatic ties between South Korea and Russia, an event dedicated to Korea was held in Russia's second largest city of St. Petersburg. The Cathedral of the Resurrection of Christ, which is known for its onion-shaped domes, is a major landmark of St. Petersburg. A traditional Korean garden has been created at a park located near the cathedral. Russian visitors don the Korean traditional dress, hanbok, in the scenic Asian garden. They look enchanted by Korea's charm. To the residents of the world's most northern city, the Korean farm music, Samulnori, 
and the traditional game of nortugi or seesawing are an exotic experience. This event was organized to mark the 25th anniversary of diplomatic ties between South Korea and Russia. 이런 행사를 통해서 러시아 시민들이 한국에 대해서 더욱 이해를 많이 하고 이를 통해서 한국과 러시아 관계가 더욱 깊어지기를 기대하고 있습니다. With the number of K-pop fans in Russia reaching tens of thousands of people, the K-pop performance is a must-see spectacle at the events dedicated to Korea. Thanks to the efforts to promote relations between the two nations, more than 220,000 Russians visited Korea last year. Despite the economic crisis in Russia, the number of Russian tourists in Korea surged over 20 percent from the previous year. A South Korean team has won an international robot competition, taking home an unprecedented cash prize. The feat has showcased South Korea's outstanding robot technology on the international stage. Here's the story. Hubo, a robot developed by a team from KAIST, completes its final task. It jumped from fifth place on the first day of the final to first by the midterm count. It completed eight tasks, including driving a car, disembarking, and opening a door and a valve in 44 minutes and 28 seconds. What did I not like? I don't know. I guess there's nothing I really didn't like. It was perfect. Four other teams, including the U.S. team, which ranked first on the first day, attempted to catch up with the Kais team in the following matches, but to no avail. On a scale of eight points, Hubo won by a perfect score and a time gap of six minutes. It was a flawless victory. The accomplishment is the result of the team's determined effort and diligence, built upon the painful lesson of having been limited to ninth place in preliminaries two years ago. A fire occurred in a supermarket located in the basement of the Lotte World Tower on Monday early morning. No casualties have been reported, but some 70 customers in the building had to evacuate. A supermarket is filled with smoke. One of the refrigerators is torched by flames. The fire occurred at the supermarket located in the second basement floor of the Lotte World Tower in Songpa District's Hoer shortly after Sunday midnight. The flames were put out in about 10 minutes. No casualties were reported, but some 70 customers who were in the building at the time had to evacuate as the burning smell spread all the way to the sixth floor. The customers later complained to Lotte that there was no proper evacuation announcement when the fire occurred. Lotte said it made an emergency announcement right after the blaze occurred and helped customers evacuate. Two thieves have been apprehended for stealing cash gifts at wedding ceremonies. They attended various weddings on the pretense that they were family of the newlyweds as invited guests were bustling about. Two men appear at a busy wedding venue. A man casually receives an envelope containing a cash gift from a guest and hands it over to his accomplice. He even has the presence of mind to take a meal coupon and give it to the guest. In the meantime, his accomplice looks around, places the envelope in his pocket, and unhurriedly disappears. The two thieves, including a man in his 60s surnamed E, stole cash wedding gifts amounting to nearly 1,800 U.S. dollars over five occasions for three months from January this year at wedding halls in the capital area by pretending to be family members of the newlyweds. The theft of cash wedding gifts has been an ongoing problem, 
as thieves can steal cash in a brief moment during a busy time. 결혼 식장 축의금 접수대에서 아무리 혼자 보더라도 혼주집 가족이 있는 것을 확인한 다음에 전달하여 피해를 예방해야 되겠습니다. Police arrested E and his accomplice on charges of theft and are investigating whether they committed other crimes. Before you go on a long car trip this summer, be sure to check your car brakes to make sure that they're not too worn down or too old. If you fail to replace old brake oil or worn out pads, the car brake may not work properly or even cause fires while driving. The fire that ignited in the rear wheel spread to the entire bus in an instant. Apparently, the fire was started by worn-down brake discs that had overheated. In particular, the heat emanating from the roads during the summer increases the risk of fire. This test shows the danger of an overheated brake. A thermal imaging camera immediately senses a temperature change when the brake is applied repeatedly. The temperature exceeds 400 degrees in just five minutes, and when the oil that's released when the brakes are applied is sprayed on, the disc brake erupts in flames. Brake oil can also pose danger when it's left beyond its replacement state. 오래된 브레이크 오일은 쉽게 끓기 때문에 기포가 발생하면서 제동이 잘안될 수가 있기 때문에 2만 킬로마다 점검을 하고 4만 킬로마다 교체해 주는 요령이 필요합니다. Also, if you use the brakes too often when going downhill in the summer, the brake oil may overheat, preventing the brakes from working properly. Korean fans selected Song Kang-ho and Kim Hae-soo as their favorite male and female actors. Plus, idol group Big Bang's new music video is dominating the music charts. Today's showbiz news is coming up right now. Korean movie fans selected Song Kang-ho and Kim Hye-soo as their favorite actor and actress. Movie portal site Max Movie surveyed 10,447 moviegoers who cited the two as their favorites. Kang won 24.9% of the vote and Kim 22.6%. Song was also named the best actor, while Chun do yeon who won the Best Actress Award at the 2007 Cannes Film Festival, was voted as the Best Actress. Idol group Big Bang's music video for Bang 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 exceeded 10 million views on YouTube. Big Bang's new release topped the real-time charts of six digital music sites in Korea, as well as charts in six foreign countries. Outside of this room, the trailer for the thriller Bridge of Spies has been released. The film is a collaboration of director Steven Spielberg and actor Tom Hanks. The story is based on a real event in the 1960s and details efforts to rescue an American pilot shot down by the Soviet Union. Chicken dishes are a common fixture on the Korean food scene. The wide varieties you can find these days have great visual appeal and wonderful flavors waiting to be explored. Here's more. The first on our list today is Nurungji chicken. Nurungji in Korean is the crust of overcooked rice. The chicken is first stuffed with various ingredients and then skewered to be cooked in a black oak brazier. After about an hour and a half of roasting, the yellowish firewood chicken is almost ready, but not quite yet. The chicken goes on a preheated stone plate for a bit more cooking, which is to make the delicious sticky rice crust. Customers have been waiting a long time. They first go for the chicken, of course. Young and old, men and women, all enjoy the Nurungji chicken. It's a treat for all. Scraping out the crispy rice after devouring the chicken is also fun. This time we head to the multicultural Itaewon neighborhood in Seoul. A chicken fried in an oil cask has turned completely black. Whoa. Let's see how it's made. 
the chef fetches something in the kitchen. The secret ingredient and water are mixed to make the batter. The meat is also seasoned. The bird is fried at 180 degrees Celsius for nine minutes as the color gradually turns from grayish to pitch black. Another unique dish is chicken wrapped in veggies. The first step is to make the brine with all kinds of herbs and ingredients. Soaking the chicken in the brine for 24 hours will help reduce any pungent smells. Then grind some radish in the mixer and rub some over the matured chicken to give the meat a delightfully chewy texture. Chicken has undoubtedly become a national dish among Koreans, and creative, brilliant ideas are taking chicken dishes to new heights. And now we'll take a look at the markets, followed by the world weather. And that's it for this edition of News Today. Thanks for being with us, and we will see you again at the same time tomorrow. Goodbye.